And tonight, the investigation continues following a bomb threat at Buffalo State College. Police worked throughout the day clearing the area and determined the threat is not credible. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello, I'm Scott Levin. Despite the update, the college is canceling classes for tomorrow, so students will not return until after their spring break. The threat came in. It was around 1045 this morning. University police said that it mentioned several buildings shortly after the campus was shut down. Students were sent back to dorms and commuter students told to leave. It was a rapidly evolving situation with alarms also going off on campus and limited information available from police. How that information was distributed did lead to some questions today. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has been looking into all of this for us today. He joins us now in the studio. Rob, what's the latest? Scott and Mary Ellis, some on social media and in student government say that Buffalo State's campus alert system did not have its intended effect today. We have their concerns tonight, but also found a lot more information is available than some are giving the school credit for. Students felt confused, administrators felt confused. That was the feeling of some students and faculty Thursday following a bomb threat at Buffalo State College. When I first started hearing the alarms, I was walking to my math class, actually. The threat was deemed not credible Thursday night, but what was done to alert the campus during the day? The college issued six text message and email alerts. Each one was also posted on the Buffalo State website with time stamps. But the president of campus student government said some didn't know they received that messaging, although others we heard from did. The Buffalo State emergency email that was sent to all students was sent to our spam folders. It was just trying to let us know like what was going on, that there was a threat made to um, one of the buildings. School officials were asked about their procedures at a press conference. Do you feel that the campus alert system did its job today? With the limited information that we had coming in, um, we shared that information with our campus community as soon as it, came, it did come in. Thursday's threat was the second time in two months that Buffalo State had to enact its emergency response plan. In February, the campus was told to shelter in place after an incident at near by McKinley High School. Days later, this email, which was shared with two on your side, relayed that spam issue to student affairs. We provided a lot of feedback after that McKinley incident saying, hey, these are some issues that happened. These are some issues that students had that were raised to me. And those issues were largely not addressed. And so those campus messages went to spam once again. While other concerns shared in the email, like, quote, a lack of clear policies don't line up, those policies for shelter in place and evacuation are laid out word for word on Buffalo State's website. If there is a next time, speaker is hoping for improved communication. You know, start to respect the issue in a sense of reaching out to us when there's an incident, at least providing the president and the vice president with a briefing um, to ensure students who are curious as to what's happening, you know, feeling threatened, feeling endangered, they can at least reach out to us. Well, Buffalo State does recommend that anyone yeah, on campus and parents to sign up for their Buff State alert system. We'll have that linked on our website. If faculty and students weren't registered today, they could have been flying blind as well as heading online. You can also text the phrase Buffalo State to 79516 to sign up. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.